Welcome back to Peace, Love and Tarot. This reading is for Aries, Sun, Moon and Rising and it's the weekly reading for May 6 to 12. So your cards this week, Aries, energies leaving, completing or transitioning. You have the Queen of Wands, focus energies, you have the Ten of Wands, clarified with the Four of Cups. And towards the end of the week, you have the Ten of Cups, clarified with the Four of Crystals. So that's interesting, guys. You've got double ten energy and double four energy all lined up um, next to each other. Well, let's start with the Queen of Wands. So this is without doubt, you guys, um, Queen of Wands is that fire energy. She's you in your power. So I really feel um, recently you've been stepping back into your power and, um, you know, feeling grounded, getting back into your energetic center. Now, the Queen of Wands is, you know, she has fiery determination. She's very, very, um, you know, she also embodies the Queen energy of um, you know stability groundedness maturity compassion but she's also very very determined she can also manifest you can see that um, represented by the the sunflower here and she's an opportunist so i really feel like you've been looking out for new opportunities to move forward in your life and to create something better for yourself now coming in towards or coming in this week um, you've got the ten of wands and the four of cups so I feel like, you know, you have been um, and probably still are the person carrying the responsibility or doing a lot of hard work or carrying the burden in your situation and you're really, really ready to leave that and put it down. So the Ten of Wands shows the character carrying this really heavy load of wands back towards the home and literally he's just putting one step in front of the other and pushing, pushing, pushing until he reaches that but at number 10 there this energy is really ready to complete it's time for you to put down those wands and to stop doing so much hard work and move into a much better more positive energy in your life and with the four of cups here you know the four of cups can be about sort of um, withdrawing or rejecting um, rejecting a cup I really feel like through doing all this hard work you've been feeling so burdened that you haven't really been able to tune into your emotional center. You probably haven't had time for love or, you know, nice feelings, time out with your partner, all those sorts of things. You've literally felt like you've just had to carry on and keep pushing forward with the load. But I think that, you know, it, you're not willing to take that anymore and it's time for that to complete. And that's exactly what looks like is going to happen towards the end of end of the week. It's a total shift up of energy. So <laughs> there couldn't really be much more of a contrast between the Ten of Wands here and the Ten of Cups. So the Ten of Cups is that ultimate feeling of being filled up with happiness and love and emotion in a sense of um, yeah, of this love, sorry, love energy here. And I think what you know, what you're really wanting is you're wanting a more stable foundation in your home life. So the Four of Crystals is all about that sense of security and stability. So I really feel like you know you're wanting that um, even partnership where you share the load, and through doing that, you know you won't be as tired. You would have put down this pile of wands, and you'll have more time to relish in these beautiful feelings and to you know play with the children spend time with your partner and all of those sorts of things you know you're really with this double four energy that's all about stability and foundations so you're really wanting to you know complete the cycle of hard work so that you can just enjoy yourself a lot more but you've been working towards that working towards building that stable platform so there you go Aries the hard work is over it's all coming to a head this week and you'll finally get to put down those wands and move on to something a lot more balanced. So good luck with that Aries, that's your reading for this week. Don't forget to keep um, tuning into your queen energy, that's your key for making the transition here this week. Um, and feel free to comment on the video if it resonated for you, just keeping in mind it is a general reading so it won't resonate for everyone. And we'll see you for another reading next week.